do you guys want to make millions and millions of GTA 5 online cash as you can see on screen? Well that's what we're going to be doing in today's GTA 5 online video. This is going to be a really really good tutorial but I do want to go ahead and point something out first. This is at your own risk, it's the most game breaking glitch out there. If you get money wiped, you get money wiped. Do this glitch at your own risk. It's not my fault if you get money wiped if you do this because I'm telling you to do this at your own risk. But yeah, this tutorial did take me hours and hours to make. It took me like a full day to make, to make this really, really good of a tutorial. So if you could go ahead and take time out of your day to smack a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go ahead and share the video out to all your friends. It would honestly mean a ton to me. Thank you very much because this did take a ton of effort to make this video. And I would really appreciate it if you guys go ahead and share the video. Smack a like and subscribe. If we could hit 100 likes. It mean a ton to me, but anyway, I'm going to get straight into the video now. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to try and explain this as best as possible, so don't mind me being Franklin here. You will get this by the end of this video, but anyway, the point is, is my chips at the top corner. To start this video off and this glitch, you want to go ahead and get yourself set up with some chips. So you want to get yourself at least 1 million chips inside the casino before you go ahead and do this glitch. It doesn't actually matter as long as you have chips. You can do it with any amount of chips but I recommend you do it with about a million. It doesn't have to be a million but also you need to go to creator mode and have a captured job that you're able to test. So you need to make yourself a captured job, do it as quick as possible, it takes like 5 minutes and make it so it's testable. So basically if you're able to test your capture job like here, if you go to the test section and you're able to test your capture job that you made, then you're good to go. You're ready to go ahead and do the next step of this. As you can see my capture job, I can go ahead and test it. Now once you've went ahead and done that, you also need to go ahead and go to an online session and change your spawn location to your motorcycle clubhouse. Now you're going to go ahead and need your motorcycle clubhouse for this because that's where the dartboard is. Also, you want to go ahead and change yourself to a social club crew that has nobody online on the crew or make yourself a brand new crew and make sure no one is in it. But yeah, that's very important. You need to make sure you're in a crew with no one in it or you're in the crew alone. It's very important, that step. And yeah, that's basically what you need for the crew side of things. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is the SP to MP solo frozen money glitch to go ahead and start this off, okay? So first of all, you need to be able to set up for the solo frozen money glitch, but we're not actually getting our frozen money. We're going to be doing the chip glitch instead. So to start this off, you want to be in story mode, go to the game section and replay mission. You want to go ahead and have the mission fresh meat. Now that needs to be unlocked, a lot of people say you need save wizard for this but you don't. If you have completed the mission fresh meat then you're able to go ahead and do this glitch just like everybody else. Now I need to go ahead and warn you guys right now, this is going to be a long tutorial because I'm going to include the whole method from start to finish instead of doing what other YouTubers are doing and cutting it up into different videos so I'm going to be doing it all in the one video today. So basically you just want to go ahead and do the fresh meat mission just like normal. You can watch my gameplay if you like if you want to go ahead and copy it but I've sped it up extremely so you guys can go ahead and do it. But anyway this is going to be a long tutorial as I said because I'm showing you how to go ahead and set up the glitch and go ahead and do the glitch start to finish alright. So basically you want to go ahead and Get yourself the fresh meat mission and finish the mission just like normal. So I'm playing it right now. As you can see at the bottom left, um, I went ahead and included the steps, the requirements you're going to need for this, alright? Just in case you ever forget, they're there at the bottom left. So when you have finished the mission, you'll get this cutscene just right here. You want to go ahead and skip this cutscene just by holding down X and you will get another cutscene. As soon as this cutscene is finished, you want to go ahead and run over to the bed and go ahead and make a really quick game save. So as you can see right here, this is the cutscene you will get once you have finished the mission just like normal. You just literally play the mission just like normal. And now when you've finished this cutscene quickly, run into your room and go ahead and make a game save. So I went ahead and ran quickly into the room, go up to the bed, spam right in the d-pad to make a game save. Now when you go ahead and make this game save, it's going to get you into the bed and obviously you can create a brand new save slot. 
So go ahead and make that save in a brand new save slot just like I did right here. It's pretty straightforward so far. Now what you want to go ahead and do is it'll spawn you off the bed once you've made the game save. Now just go ahead and press pause. Then you want to go to the online section, no, no never mind, the game section and actually load in the fresh meat game save you just made. So the game save you just made, you want to go ahead and load that up as soon as you've went ahead and made the game save. So it'll take you out of the bed, you want to press pause, go to the game section, load game and go ahead and load the fresh meat game save you just went ahead and made. If you've got this far through the video so far, it would honestly mean a ton to me if you pause the video, go ahead and comment bananas down below. I'll go ahead and heart your comment and reply to you as well because that is dedication watching this far through the video. So I really appreciate you but we've got a lot more to go. As I said, I'm really trying to help you out, the dedication is crazy. I went ahead and recorded this from start to finish for the one video for you guys, alright? So what you want to go ahead and do is when you spawn into story mode with this glitched game save you just made, it's going to pop up with the Grand Theft Auto 5 logo and it's going to be a black screen in the background, alright? Now when the logo goes away and it's just on a black screen, what you want to go ahead and do is hold down on the D-pad and press down on the analog and it's going to give you an alert that's going to pop up on the screen and that's you basically just trying to go to online um, behind the black screen. Um, the black screen is just there for show, your game is actually there, but anyway, just go ahead and decline the alert when you're on the alert, okay? Just decline it and you'll be Franklin standing in Michael's hallway. Now, Simeon's going to go ahead and call you now. Do not accept the call. Do not decline the call. You just want to go ahead and wait until the call goes away. Now, when the call goes away, bring up your phone and go ahead and go to the enter number section and enter 1-999-578-25. 368. You want to go ahead and enter that phone number into your phone and it's going to call up acting up. It's going to give you an alert saying are you sure you want to enter director mode, just click ok. Now enter director mode as Franklin, this part is very easy. Now when you're in director mode as Franklin, just go ahead and kill yourself and you'll go ahead and spawn back in the trailer. Now just exit back to story mode while you're in the director mode menu. Now what's going to happen is you're going to spawn back inside Michael's hallway as Franklin again. Now bring up your phone and make a quick save. Now this is going to go ahead and make it so you do not have to do any of these steps ever again. Now this is going to be a quick save right here. Make a brand new save with this. So now whenever you want to rinse and repeat this glitch and do it again, just go ahead and load up that game save and start from where I'm starting right now. So now you want to go ahead and press pause and go to creator mode. Okay, so we're now loading into creator mode. Now when you're in creator mode, you want to start up the capture job that you can go ahead and test, the one I told you to go ahead and make at the start of the video. If you don't know how to make that, remember, go ahead and search it up on YouTube, it will go ahead and show you. But when you're in creator mode, just go down to load creation, go to saved and start up the mission, all right? Well, the, the creator job. You want to start up the job that you can go ahead and test. Now I'm going to go ahead and press my PlayStation button and I'm going to go to settings. Now I'm going to go to network and go ahead and double tap my PlayStation button to go back to the game. Now what that's doing is it's just making a shortcut to go ahead and quickly disconnect my internet. Now you want to go ahead and click test on the job and when you've clicked test press pause and go to the online section. Now we're going to get ready to disconnect internet here. Now when you go to the online section you should have an option telling you to choose character. Now when you get the choose character option on the online section you want to go ahead and click on it and as soon as you accept the alert, double tap your PlayStation button to disconnect the internet. So accept the alert, double tap, disconnect the internet, double tap to go back to the game again and you should get a black screen. Then it should come up with an alert, you just want to go ahead and accept the alert straight away. And when you accept this alert, it's going to spawn you back into story mode as Franklin. Now we're about to load back in as Franklin, now when we load back in as Franklin we're going to go ahead and wait to get a call alright from Simeon, so we're just going to wait, it can take literally 30 seconds to a minute, you just got to wait and eventually a call from Simeon will come through, accept the call this time and as soon as you accept it press pause, go to Rockstar Editor and enter Director Mode from Rockstar Editor. Now when you get into Director Mode you want to go to um, settings and go to time of day and change it to midday then go to actors go to story characters and press square to change the appearance 
of Franklin, then click OK to enter director mode as Franklin with a different appearance. Now when you spawn inside of director mode, you're now ready to do the next step. So when you're inside director mode, you just want to go ahead and open up your map and place a waypoint on the theater in the city. So the movie theater in the city, not the one at the bottom left, the one at the top, I just waypointed it, waypoint it, open up your interaction menu and just teleport over to the theater by clicking on waypoint. Now when you get over to the theater, you're ready to do the next step. So as you can see right here, it has now teleported me to the theater any second now after GTA's stupid loading screens finally load, there we go. Now when you're at the ticket booth at the theater, just go ahead and press right on the D-pad to enter the theater, okay? Now what you want to go ahead and do is double tap your PlayStation button and reconnect your internet now. Now when you reconnect your internet and go back to the game, just wait a few seconds because sometimes it can say cannot connect to server. Just go ahead and connect your internet, well disconnect your internet and connect it again and wait and a few seconds again. Now if your internet fully connects back then you're good to go. Open up the interaction menu and click on return to casting trailer and you should get an alert. Now as soon as you accept this alert you have to wait until a loading symbol comes up at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now when that loading symbol comes up, you'll see it any second now, when it comes up press your PlayStation button, bam. Now press the PlayStation button, press down on the D-pad, right on the D-pad and go down to the recent activity. Now this right here is a recent activity, go ahead and use this one. Now it will it'll take you back to the game when you click on the recent activity. Just click no on this alert. Now you should be outside as Franklin. Now what you want to go ahead and do is press your PlayStation button once again. Now when you press your PlayStation button again, go back to the same recent activity and start that up and you should be on an alert. Now when you're on this alert that pops up, you want to go ahead and accept the alert and as soon as you accept the alert, press your PlayStation button, go to network, so bam, PlayStation button, network, then go ahead and disconnect your internet, double tap the PlayStation button to go back to the game. You should get a black screen just like this, then an alert will pop up, just click OK on this alert and you should spawn back down at the movie theatre and now you should be um, duplicated your Franklin. So there'll be two Franklins now, which is kind of cool. Now you want to double tap your PlayStation button and connect your internet back up again. And when your internet connects back up again, press pause and go to online and go to creator mode. Now this is basically the last step of the SP to the MP part. Then we're ready to go ahead and do the unlimited chips glitch. So this is two tutorials in one. You can go ahead and use this for the uh, SP to MP, the solo one, or you can use this for the chips glitch as well. Now, when you get into creator mode, this is the hard part, um, but if you hit this part, then you're literally so close to finishing this whole tutorial, okay? Press your PlayStation button, go to settings, go to network and disconnect your network, go back to the game and accept the alert. Now you want to hover over exit to GTA Online. Now, as soon as you click this alert, it will go ahead and give you a black screen, it will take you into the skies and it will give you a black screen. Now as soon as it does give you that black screen, double tap your PlayStation button and connect your internet back up again. Now I recommend you go ahead and stay on this connect to internet screen for around about 40 seconds, it does depend on your internet connection. If you have really fast internet connection, just do it about 10 seconds. But if you don't have the best internet connection, do it for about 40 seconds. Now I was actually live streaming while doing the glitch, so I went ahead and took 40 seconds. And as soon as you've finished waiting, what you want to go ahead and do is go back to your PlayStation dashboard. Do not go back on GTA. Do not go back on the game at all. You want to hover over the game, press down on the D-pad and go ahead and start up the recent activity again. Now you should get uh, an alert. If it comes up with the Rockstar game policies, just click OK on that, it's fine. Uh, you should get an alert saying the services are unavailable right now and you should be able to press square to retry. Now I'm not sure why I ended up getting the Rockstar policies, but it worked anyway after getting the Rockstar policies. But if you don't get the Rockstar policies, it will come up with um, telling you the services are no longer available and it will say click square to retry. Just go ahead and click square to retry. Now, throughout this whole video, when you're actually in the skies and you're loading into different sessions, if it does take a long time and you feel like your game is stuck in the clouds, I would say to you, give it at least 5-10 to 10 minutes and give the game a chance 
and if it doesn't load in after 5 to 10 minutes then quit your application and unfortunately the bad part of this glitch is you're going to have to do it again but but half the time you will end up not getting stuck in the clouds don't worry um, as long as you do everything correctly now when you've done the retry step and you're in the skies um, you will just wait until it loads you inside to a GTA 5 online session now what it's going to do is it's going to load you into your um, your clubhouse garage okay so it's going to load you into your clubhouse and then you've successfully done the SP to MP glitch. Now, with SP to MP, you can go ahead and do stuff such as solo frozen money and all of that. If you want a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments. But this one is mainly for the chip glitch. But basically, as soon as you load into this session, you're going to have solo SP to MP. And now we're going to go ahead and do the chip glitch when we finally load in. Okay, so we're now loading into a session and as I said, we're going to spawn inside our motorcycle clubhouse. Now, when you spawn inside your motorcycle clubhouse, you will notice when you hold down your interaction menu, you will have a double menu. Now, that is good. That just means you've hit the glitch. Now, when you've went ahead and spawned in and you've got the double menu, you're ready to go ahead and do the next step. So, as you can see, I spawned in. You will get this quit screen as well, though. Just click no on that alert. You'll get that alert every time you spawn in, just click no on that alert. Now what you want to go ahead and do everyone is open up um, your pause menu and go to play a job, Rockstar created, missions, a titan of a job. Now when you start up a titan of a job, you're now about to go ahead and start doing the unlimited chips glitch. Yes guys, finally, we're now nearly finished. So, what you want to go ahead and do is when you load into a titan of a job, you want to start up the job on your own. When you finally get into the job, it's going to spawn you inside your motorcycle clubhouse as your online character. Now when you actually spawn into the job as your online character, as soon as it loads you into the job fully, you want to hold down on the d-pad and select a story mode character. Now as soon as you select Franklin, quickly decline the alert as soon as possible. So as soon as you select Franklin, Decline the alert, it will give you a glitched out screen saying steal the titing at the bottom and it will load you into Franklin's apartment. Now when you're inside Franklin's apartment, as you can see, you now have story mode online, you're now a story mode character. Now what you want to go ahead and do when you're inside Franklin's apartment is press pause and go ahead and click join crew members. Now this is why we wanted to have an empty crew, so you want to click join crew members and just accept the alert. Now when you accept this alert, it's going to go ahead and put you into the skies. Now when it puts you into the sky, um, it will load you back into another session, okay? It will go ahead and first put you into story mode, then it will take you out of story mode and back into the sky again, and it will give you an alert. Just click OK on the alert when it pops up, so this alert right here, just click OK on it. Now it's going to spawn us back into another session again. Now when we get back into this other session, we're going to be inside our motorcycle clubhouse. Now when we're inside the motorcycle clubhouse, this is the last step to the SP to MP frozen chips glitch. Okay, we're going to call it the frozen chips glitch, the unlimited chips glitch, whatever you want to call it. This is the last step when you finally load in. Now when you're in the sky here, this can take up to two minutes to go ahead and load you into a session. but it's okay, just give it, as I said, 2 to 5 minutes to 10 minutes max. And then if it doesn't load you in, quit your application and you're going to have to do it again. But this is a really long tutorial and it's a really long pain in the ass glitch. But in the end, it is worth it. So let's go ahead and... Oh, never mind, I was about to go ahead and uh, say let's wait until we get into the session. But we're now in the session, okay? So when you get inside the session, it's going to load you back inside your motorcycle clubhouse. Now when you're back inside your motorcycle clubhouse, you're ready to do the next step. Now the next step is with the dartboard. This is where you're going to go ahead and glitch out your game and get the casino online with a story mode character. So when you get in here, what you want to go ahead and do is go up to your dartboard and get ready to do the next part. So I'm going to take this slow with you so you understand what you're doing. So I'm now spawned in, just like so. I am now my multiplayer character once again. Don't worry, you're still glitched out. It may not seem like you're glitched out right now, but you're still glitched out. Now when you're here, what you want to go ahead and do is walk out and go up the stairs or wherever your dartboard is, you just want to go towards your dartboard. Now this next step here is the most difficult part of the glitch, okay? This involves disconnecting your internet and going ahead and getting the timing correctly. 
So when you actually get to your dartboard, you want to go up to it and get the option to play darts. It will say press right on the d-pad to play darts and when you get that option you want to press pause, go to online and go to join crew members. Now as soon as you get the alert to pop up on screen, what you want to go ahead and do is spam right on the d-pad and click X on the alert and do not stop spamming right on the d-pad. So we're now going to click join crew members and we're going to get this alert. Now every single time it's going to fail when you first do this. Now as you can see right here it says quit, spam right on the d-pad then click X and spam right on the d-pad at the same time. This alert is going to pop up saying failed to find a compatible GT online session, just click OK on that. Now it's going to go ahead and load you back into another session. Now at this point in time you've got to wait in the skies again until it puts you back into another session inside your clubhouse once again. Now basically what we're going to do now is when it spawns us back in we're ready to do that step again but this time it's not going to give us that alert. If it does give you that alert then just go ahead and rinse and repeat the step until you hit this. So basically what's meant to happen is as soon as you, I'm going to explain it before I do it to, uh, for you guys so you can actually go ahead and get it right. So basically you want to go up to the dartboard, you want to press pause, you want to go to online, you want to go to join crew members, click on that option and you should get an alert. Now when you're on that alert, you want to start spamming right on the d-pad. Now when you're spamming right on the d-pad, just click OK on the alert, click X on the alert but do not stop spamming right on the d-pad. So when you're pressing X, you still want to keep spamming right on the d-pad. Now at the bottom right corner, if it comes up, with a loading screen and it comes up with a blurry image of you in the background about to play darts then you have done it correctly and if it comes up with the loading screen at the bottom corner as well as soon as it comes up saying loading you want to disconnect your internet then reconnect it but stay on the internet screen you'll see what I mean in a second when we load into the session but I just wanted to go ahead and explain that first before we did it but remember I was live streaming while doing this glitch so any of pop ups just like so uh, like Bluebee subscribed and um, that is because I was live so just to let you know that's why they're popping up but anyway I'm back in the session now and we're ready to do the step again so what we want to go ahead and do is go up to the dartboards and redo that step we just did but this time we're going to do it correctly and it's going to be different so I'm going to go back up to the dartboard to redo the step and um, yeah I guess everybody's getting a free shout out right here everyone that subbed to me on stream so I really appreciate that. I was actually live on my second channel by the way guys which is down below. Uh, so basically what you want to go ahead and do is go up to the dartboard, press pause, go to online, join crew members. Start spamming right on the d-pad then click ok on the alert and keep spamming right on the d-pad. If you get this glitched out screen just like so, as soon as it says loading at the bottom corner, press your playstation button, go to network, disconnect your internet and connect it back up again. Now you want to wait on the connect to internet screen for around about 40 seconds alright. Depending on how good your internet is, it could be less than 40 seconds but to be safe I recommend you do this and stay on this screen for around about 40 seconds. Now this is where the last part of the glitch comes into play. So basically as soon as you've waited the 40 seconds on this alert, you want to go, well on the, not on this alert, on this screen where it says connect to internet. What you want to go ahead and do is return to your game alright. So as you can see right here, I'm just waiting around about 40 seconds on the connect to internet. This is not skipped or anything. This is me genuinely just waiting on that screen. And when I have finished waiting on the screen and I think I have waited long enough, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go back to my game. So I think I've waited long enough. So I'm now going to go back to my game by pressing the PlayStation button to go back to the game and just click on Grand Theft Auto V. Now what's going to happen is it should take you into the sky just like so and it should give you this alert. Just click OK on this alert. Now if it does not take you into the sky and it says connection lost, unfortunately you're going to have to do this again. It happens quite a lot to be honest. But um, if it takes you into the sky and you've done it correctly and it gives you the alert, just click OK on that alert. Now as you can see right here, awesome intros subscribed to the channel, the second channel. The link to that will be in the description down below. I do live streams on there quite a lot as well. So if you want, you can go subscribe to that channel. It'll mean a ton to me. And I'm actually curious because we're really, really far into the video. If you comment down below, Neon, 
is awesome, then that means you literally have watched this far into the video and if you have watched this far into the video, I, I will bow down to you, I swear, that is crazy because I know a lot of people don't watch this far into videos or tutorials. So if you are here, then thank you very much because I am putting my well hard time into this tutorial. Thank you Van Horn for the sub as well, I appreciate that man, I really do, thank you very much. Now when you finally spawn into a session, just go ahead and hold down on the d-pad and select Franklin and click no on the alert straight away. Now it's going to put you in the skies and as soon as it puts you in the sky, it's going to spawn you inside Franklin's house. Now what you want to go ahead and do is when you're in Franklin's house, if it does not spawn you in Franklin's house then that's you basically finished, but if it does, hold down on the d-pad, select Michael and click no on that alert as well. Always remember to click no on the alerts and it's now going to spawn me in as Michael online. Now we're ready to go ahead and finish this GTA 5 online glitch tutorial, all right? Now once you've spawned inside online as Michael, go ahead and open up your interaction menu and activate passive mode, all right? Also, if the menu comes up as a double menu, just obviously take the menu off, put it back on and it should be fine again. Go into passive mode, get in the taxi that it gives you, you get a free taxi but you don't get to keep it unfortunately but anyway take it over to the diamond casino and we're now finished this glitch everyone so what you want to go ahead and do next is go into the diamond casino and as soon as you get in the casino go up to the cashier and start trading in your chips and that's you done watch this guys are you ready Now as you can see, I have 3 million chips and every time I click trade in my 3 million chips, it is giving me 3 million dollars in the game every second. So every time I spam this button, I click the button once, it's going to just keep making my money go up and up and up. So I kept doing this for a long time and I thought I would go for 15 billion. Hopefully I do not get money wiped, but yes, remember there is a chance you can get money wiped for this, but... It's unlikely, a lot of people say they're going to get money wiped, but you never know, you might get lucky and I feel I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna take the risk, you know. But anyway, that's basically it for the video. I'm gonna show you how to save this money next. So I'm going to obviously get it up to 15 billion, then I'm going to go ahead and save the money and show you how to go ahead and do the save method so you do not lose any of this money because there is a save, it's not just like you get the money and you're finished and you keep it, you need to save the money, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to save the money now. So I'm going to hit the five, the, well, the 15 billion mark, all right? Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to save this. So, so to go ahead and save this, what you want to go ahead and do is just exit from the cashier where you're doing the glitch, okay? So just exit from there and you're ready to go ahead and save this. So to save this, you want to go ahead and open up your interaction menu. You're going to see me do it in a second, okay? So what you want to go ahead and do is when you're inside the casino, you've went ahead and got all the money you want, open up your interaction menu, and it should be a double menu. Just close it and open it again. Go to your outfits and change your outfit. Just select any random outfit. Now at the bottom corner, you're going to get a loading screen, which means that is a game save. Don't worry, you've not, no, don't think you've saved it yet. You've not completely saved it yet. Now what you want to go ahead and do is exit the casino, okay? Now when you exit the casino, we're about to go ahead and save it. We've literally got one more step to do to save this. So what I'm going to do is exit the casino and I'm going to save it. I just went ahead and changed my outfit again just to be on the safe side, just in case. Um, but yeah, you want to exit the casino and you're ready to do the next step. As you can see, I'm literally not skipping any of the gameplay. I'm showing you exactly how to do this. So it saves 100% for you guys, alright? So when you load outside of the casino, what you want to go ahead and do is open up your interaction menu and kill yourself, okay? It will obviously be greyed out and say you can't do it, but just click it and it will do it anyway. It will let you kill yourself. Now it will give you this weird glitched out wasted screen and as soon as that wasted screen has went away, it's going to spawn you back in, but you're going to be invisible. Now when you're invisible, all you have to do is open up your interaction menu and change your outfit. So basically, change your outfit once again, just select the same outfit and your outfit will come back. 
Now you have successfully saved the money everyone. I am now in the session, I am back as my, my online character and I have went ahead and done it. I have saved the money. So now I'm going to close my application, start it back up and show you that I still have the money. If you enjoyed this video and you got this far through then you are a legend. Make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for all the effort I put into this video and share it out with all your friends because this is the type of video that you can go back and watch every time you make a mistake with the glitch. But anyway guys, my name is Neon and I'm out. Peace. And I didn't understand that you were the one